Hi guys, so I know I made a video like five seconds ago <clears throat> for polymer clay for beginners, materials and tools, and now this is part two because I was running out of time. I was only, I was about to turn into 15 minutes and I can't go up to 15 minutes yet, but I will change that. So, let's go on to part two. So as I was saying, um, for my last video, which was polymer clay for beginners part one, materials and tools. Um, chalk pastels, these are great because if you need to dust something to make it more realistic or make it less realistic or do whatever or change the color of it a little bit or make it baked, look like it's baked <clears throat> or dust it, you can easily use a variety of ch um, chalk pastels. And I know there are some slots missing, it's because my brother took some that I gave to him, so that's why I just have these now. And these are all the colors that I need to use, and I recommend getting a <clears throat> paintbrush to dust them, not just with your finger rubbing, uh, rubbing it on the finger and then, like, spreading it, like, all over your polymer clay, like, like, rubbing it on your finger and then spreading it all over your polymer clay. I don't really like doing that, so that's why I think it's better if you make, um, if you do it, like, dust it with a, um, paint um like a paintbrush sort of thing so yes um there's going to be a part three to this as well so that's awesome to get chalk pastels and if you don't know if you're asking what type of brand i use um i use artist sloth and you can find it as michael's as well all of these stuff you can find as michael's actually um <clears throat> except for the the bobby pins you can find them anywhere else for like on Harmons or something like that so sorry the thing got really weird the lighting so also you need some scribbles 3d paint the reason why you might need some scribbles 3d paint in a variety of colors i just chose purple oh it looks like more like dark purple and neon green is because <clears throat> they were just the um, only thing that i had um with me right now because all my other stuff is over there over there so I didn't want to go and get them so I just picked the two colors that were near to me so purple and neon green there are a variety of different colors you can get um, in packs on well, um, Michaels and these are really helpful because if you want to make squishies like homemade squishies with sponges <clears throat> which will be in part three um, you whoa <laughs> sorry guys you can and um, also, you need to paint the faces with these if you make squishies. It's basically just 3D paint. So, yeah. And it's permanent. So, make sure you don't get any clothes. Um, or your hands, because it won't wash off. But, yeah. So, also, if you make um, squishy buns, which are actually a really funny name, um, you can make your own squishy buns. With I will talk about that later um, in the video with something called Sculpey Mold Maker, which I will talk about it right in a few minutes after this. And you have to you have to paint the faces on with Scribbles 3D paint. Um, um, you can use any colors, basically. So, okay. So, yeah, Scribby, Scribbles 3D paint. Also, <clears throat> now let's talk about Sculpey Mold Maker. What you can use to do with the Scopey Mold Maker is basically uh, make a squishy bun. You can just rip off a piece and start forming the squishy bun. Like, basically, just a bun. Yeah. And also, you can use Scopey Mold Maker, which is right here, um, to make a mold. And you can make molds... Um, and they are going to be flexible, which means that you can do anything you want with them. So they are absolutely flexible, and you can push them and pull them and do whatever you want with it. So, yeah, you can make molds out of this and also squishy buns, which I'll sh be showing you how to make a tutorial on both of them. <clears throat> and lastly, well, second to last or micro marbles or micro beads. You can find them in the recollection section at um, Michael's. I keep on wanting to say Walmart because I saw um, Crafty Forever once Walmart Harl. <laughs> um, 
Michael's um, section, collection section, and basically they're micro beads. And one side there are little holes that you can just pour them out. And then the other side is just where you can just like dump them everywhere. So yeah, there's different ways, and there are different like names for it, like different colors. I just picked out cherry because it was the closest thing that I had. So. Also, the last and final thing for part two is going to be da -da -da -da, that you um, need to clean up. And what I mean by clean up is have a nice work surface and you don't want to get um, put it on any expensive furniture because it can stain and it will never come, well it will come off, but it will be hard to get off. So that's why I recommend getting like a surface that you don't care if you get dirty and you can put TLS on it. So and bacon bond, so yeah. And also I will um I'm going to do a arid um, area storage tour um just for polymer clay beginners as well because so they can see how like what it would look like. No, whatever. <laughs> um so yeah, and I will sp speak about some other tools that you might need um, tomorrow for part three, because actually tomorrow I'm going to Michael's, because my mom needs a little bit more to make um, a um, one of her creations that she sold for 40 bucks, well, because, no, 20 bucks. Um, so yeah, and she actually got 40 bucks today, so yeah, that was pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it for part two, and... Um, have fun with this. Um, it's just going to be, basically polymer clay is just having fun and making and like making new creations and doing whatever you want with them. So yeah, I will do a Sculpey 3 baking tutorial. And also for the Scribbles paint, this is just um, an example. Scribble Studio Paint can get messy. If you see, I messed up this wonderful chibi with this Scribble Studio Paint, and now I can't get it off. So make sure it's you be very, very careful with this if you paint it on anything. So yeah, I hope you really enjoyed part two, and I know it was kind of shorter than my last one because that was like 14 minutes and like 44 seconds long. Um... And this is only eight minutes. Well, n um, it's rounded to eight minutes. Um, so, yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this for part two. And I will see you guys later. Rate, comment, and subscribe because I will be doing another part three and maybe part four. I don't really know. Um, so, yeah, and this is basically just the door to my bathroom. So, yeah, and I don't really like to use... Um, this door in the background because it's like all stained up and it just looks weird but yeah but that um I don't I don't like my regular old background which is this because like that's kind of boring so yeah I'll see you guys later rate comment and subscribe and I hope you really enjoy this video comment um rate and subscribe like I just said three times and um Comment down below if we want a part four, because I'll try to think of some things that I didn't say in my other videos. So yeah, bye guys!